Hello and welcome back to Cook Thai with Moo Moo. It's been a long while since my last video and it's really because my work is super busy and I didn't have enough time. But here we are. And you might notice the background behind me. This is totally new and it's because I'm back in Bangkok. This is my parents' place. It's not my place. I wish I had the kitchen as nice as this. In today's clip, I'm going to make the first dish that I craved for when I came back to Bangkok. And it is Moo Bing or pork skewer. It's one of the dishes that you can either eat it as a snack or you can eat it as a whole meal with sticky rice and it's super nice, I love it. The very first thing we're going to do is to put the pork into the freezer for one to one and a half hour. This is to firm up the pork a bit so that it's easier to cut. You don't have to do this, but I think it's easier this way. I'm using pork collar here because I like the mixture of some fat and some lean meat. Some people buy lean meat and buy separately fat, just fat, by itself. Cut the pork into thin slices of about 3 to 4 millimeters thickness. So this step is highly optional. Some people might actually not like the result, but it's just the way that it's supposed to be done, so I'm doing it. I have here the baking soda. We're going to use this to tenderize the meat. The method I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this here directly into the pork with some water. Let it sit for about 15 minutes, then we're going to rinse everything off. Because actually, I do think that this has some strange taste to it. Some people might not be able to detect it, but I can. So I'm going to rinse everything off after we tenderize it already. If you're doing it this way, you need a bit more than half a teaspoon. And put a little bit of water in. Mix it around and make sure that the baking soda has the chance to cover all the surfaces of the pork. If you feel that it's too dry, you can add more water too. All right, let's put it in the fridge and let it sit for 15 minutes. While we're waiting for the pork, we will prepare the marinade first. I have in front of me here the coriander, garlic and black pepper. We call these three, three buddies or samgler because they are always together. I'll uh, begin with peeling the garlic. You don't have to peel it actually, but the peel might burn sometimes, so I like to peel it off. You can leave them a little bit on as well, that doesn't matter. For this portion, I'm going to use two cloves of garlic and one root of coriander root and about half a teaspoon of black pepper. When using pesto and water, I like to put in the wet ingredient first so that it gives a little bit of base for the dry ingredients because if you put in the black pepper first, it will just fly away everywhere. Followed by five teaspoons of sugar. You might think it's a lot of sugar, but trust me, the original version is even sweeter than this. Six tablespoons of whole milk. One and a half teaspoons of dark soy sauce. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. And two tablespoons of oil. And that's it, just mix everything up and we use this to marinate our pork. The pork should be ready when we are done with the marinade. Rinse it with water for two to three times to remove the baking soda. You can also use a strainer if you have one. Put the pork into an airtight container and pour in the marinade. Move it around and make sure that the marinade touches all the surface of the pork slices. I'm using my hand because I think it's easier, but you can also use a glove too. Then put in the fridge for two to three hours or overnight for even better results. All right, now we are ready to cook. Just one last thing, you can use these skewers or you just don't have to use it at all. But I'm going to use it here because it looks nicer for the video and I just want to show you how it's done. Use the sharp tip of the skewer to poke into the pork slice going up and down along the length of the pork. Spread the pork and don't let the pork fold it up too much, otherwise it will not be cooking evenly. Also try to give some fat on each of the skewer too, for the flavor of course. Do it at your own pace and don't poke yourself. To cook these skewers, traditionally we will grill it over the open flame, but I don't have a grill at home, so I'm gonna use the air fryer right behind me. I think it's easier for most people as well, because you don't need a grill, you don't need to buy charcoal, you don't need to worry about the fire hazard, you just have to have this. Preheat your air fryer to 200 degrees Celsius, put the skewers in and don't overcrowd. You can also put some of the marinade on top for extra flavor too. Then set a timer for 7 to 8 minutes. You don't have to flip it midway, but it's better to do so. Now it is done. Here that's sizzling. 
All that is left is to plate it up and it's ready to eat. Oh, and this dish is great with sticky rice. You can also check out my other video on how to make sticky rice. As always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. I'll see you next time. สวัสดีครับ